I do think that Philadelphia is missing some things. Um, and yeah. I've always was... Well, they lost the depth that they had. They lost depth. I talked to Wolves during the summertime right before free agency. And one of the things he said to me was, do you realize, like, the Sixers are going to have to choose between saving or, or re-signing Jimmy Butler, Tobias Harris, and J.J. Redick? Yeah. They signed one out of three. Yeah. Not good. Yeah. I mean, you did. You did. I personally think you overpaid Al Horford. Yeah. Well, but at the same time, you still, I, I still like Josh Richardson. Um, and I, I like, you know, yeah, I, I like. I, I thought it was a good pickup, but I did too. They don't have the depth that the, again, and that's I think that's going to hurt them long term. Mm -hmm. Right? Do you think long term it can work with Embiid and Simmons? Um, yeah, I think so. I think I think, um, but it I doesn't think, get a jump shot. Who? Cool. You know, I, I'm gonna tell you something. I, I think people oversell that jump shot thing. I, I think that sometimes, particularly, and this is just the grand scheme of the NBA at large. I think sometimes people write things enough and say things enough. Uh, my mom told me to stop saying the word narrative, so I'm being con <laughs> conscious of that. When people say things enough, it's, people begin to believe it's truth. Um, and I think that when you look at uh, Ben Simmons, Jason Kidd didn't have a, a fluid jumper to end his career. He won a championship in 2011 as a member of the Dallas Mavericks. Yeah. You know, so my concern with Ben is that because he doesn't shoot the free throw so well, late in games he almost he becomes very passive because he doesn't want to get fouled. He almost doesn't want to initiate offense because he's scared of having to go to the free throw line and have to knock down some big free throws. And that's why I wondered, like, can it work long term? Because they need him to be his best version of himself for them, I think, to really take that next step. I think that big point guards have an adjustment period just like European uh, stretch three, four, fives do. Look at the transition that Dirk yeah. Nowitzki had. Look at the transition that <coughs> Pedro Stoyakovich had. Look at the transition that Andre Kirilenko had. Yeah. You know, so when you look at Ben Simmons, a six eight locomotive that doesn't have the shoulder or muscular build that LeBron James had in high school, and LeBron James built that even more. Yeah, but he's literally legitimately can get to the basket, carry the ball like bread to the basket. Um, you know, can get and players he involved. On lovers too. Yes, right. he can. And then you have a guy in Ben Simmons, or excuse me, a guy in Joel Embiid. Uh, who could do what he does? I mean, seriously, he waited. You know, was drafted in 2014. We yeah. waited some years. They trusted the process, and you know, the process is now you know in waiting. You know, and I, yeah. I think, you know, Elton got in there and did what he needed to do. Uh, you know, post all that drama that happened with the the guy that yeah. was in a general manager before, and you know, it, it's a process, man. And I think that um, to answer your question directly about do I think they can coexist. I think that depends on them and, and, and the help that they have. You know, you can go to Wendy's and pull up and get the and get the get the chicken sandwich, but you still need the <laughs> onions, the lettuce, tomato, and and hey, you you have like, it right. I need the sweet <laughs> sauce. Remember, right. remember the fixing cups back in the day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you need the, the you need the, the, it's a package the, deal. The Sixers you need, need the that. fixing cups, man. This is Dion Grant from the New York Giants, Super Bowl champ, and you're watching Real Fans, Real Talk. Real talk, we as real as you thought.